All right, I should have a short and sweet one for you today. I have an SX64, which is a part for some TLC, and I figured I'd make a video for those out there who might not have seen the boards and daughter boards inside one. So let's just take a quick look at inside at these guts. Here we have, I guess you would say, the main board instead of the motherboard, but this is where you have most of the computing going on for the main part of the computer. We start off up here, and it sure looks like 8510 to me. I think that's going to be a misprint. I'm sure that's I'm pretty sure that's going to be a misprint of 6510. Under this heat sink, we're going to have our VIC-2 chip. We have our PLA, our basic ROM, probably character ROM, good old 6581 SID. And over here we have our RAM. the first of two daughter boards. This one's primarily the floppy controller. You can see the floppy controller has its own CPU. It has a 6502 on its own and two CIA chips, two 6522 CIA chips. And it has a second daughter board. This is another I.O. board. And you can see it has two CIA chips on its own. It has two 6526 CIA chips. Now, of course, it has its own power supply. This one is different than what mo most C64 owners would be used to. Or any other Commodore 8-bit. A little bit different. No bulging in those caps. That's a really good sign. Floppy drive. Nothing really special here, maybe. Except... You can see it hasn't been cleaned yet. Ugh. Here you have your front panel controls. Someone's never taken a SX64 apart might not know that there's actually an expansion port extension cable. And this is it. The length of this and the fact that it's not shielded can give problems if you're using something intensive like a super CPU. For cartridges, no problem. For a simple expansion, no problem. But for more complex ones like the super CPU, yeah, it can cause problems. And here's your keyboard PCB board. membrane seems a little fragile when I took it out. I think it's going to be all right, but uh, I'll find out when it gets put back together. There seems to be a replacement on the market, so I'm not all terribly worried, but I think this one's going to be fine. Like I said, that was a quick one. That's it for today. I hope to have a longer video about the teardown and uh, TLC for the SX64 that I have that was unaffectionately called the Cat Piss SX64. So if I can get that video out, give it a watch and you'll find out why it's the Cat Piss SX64 and we'll see how it turns out. So I guess you can say just consider this a little bit of a teaser.
and I'd be remiss for not thanking CyberEye for assistance on a technical matter. I think things are going to work out. Much appreciate the technical assistance, Mr. CyberEye. And you know the deal. Before you click away, please like and subscribe. Only about 4% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so please do that. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.